Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into Ethereum then after into the Bitcoin dominance and also in this video I want to show you why we could be entering in some kind of end game for the Bitcoin price at least for now because we have this P cycle indicator which is about to flash probably tomorrow and in this video I want to show you four other important charts that suggests that we are not in yet for this local top and we shouldn't expect here a major correction because of the P cycle indicator but more that we should here expect this big breakout to the upside to reach our bullish targets between at least 75 to 100k before maybe afterwards we could get a bigger sell off or a bigger correction but the important thing is that those other indicators and charts are telling us that the top is not yet in here and even though a possible bigger sell off is incoming in the not so distant future those charts are telling us that right now is not the time to take profits it's not the local top and we will go to way higher levels pretty soon before having any kind of bigger sell-off so we're gonna have a look on those charts of course and indicators but first i would just want to cover here the lower time frame with the actual price action because after that we got here a sell signal in the three hour time frame you can see that the price came down to retest this 58k area and for now we bounced nicely here at the 50 level in the RSI in the three hour time frame and of course this bounce here is very healthy but because we got this sell signal right now and all the money flow is still negative I'm expecting here maybe another retest of this 58k area during this weekend because also this is where more or less the CM is closed on Friday so I still think that here in the next coming hours we will trade sideways or maybe even have here breakout to the downside from the main support that we have here currently at around $58,600 and therefore also go down to retest this 50 eight thousand dollars support important is that we are not falling below here this fifty five thousand eight hundred dollars because if we would fall below this important support where our ascending triangle support is lining up that could lead into a massive uh, correction down potentially even down towards the 20 weekly moving average and that of course would be very bearish because in that case this was the local top for now and we will enter into a bigger sell-off down maybe to 40k but as long as we are in an uptrend here so trading above $55,800 and even better trading above the EMA ribbons and the 20 moving average in the four hour we should be gearing up here for a big breakout to the upside in this coming week because we are are about to reach the edge of this ascending triangle and we should see the breakout pretty soon I think latest in one or two weeks otherwise things could start to look bearish if we just gonna trade sideways here until the edge of this ascending triangle and then have a breakout to the downside so hopefully we are getting here a breakout to the upside in these next two weeks I'm pretty confident that we will see some big fireworks this week so this big consolidation here that we had in the last couple of days and weeks in my opinion is going to end very very soon and that's why I'm expecting here big fireworks to the upside or maybe in the worst case scenario this sell off and this correction that we're waiting down towards the 20 weekly moving average for the worst case scenario but since we are looking extremely bullish in several time frames I'm still expecting here a big breakout to the upside and this P cycle indicator flash that could occur probably tomorrow in my opinion could be just the signal that we are entering now in a big parabolic phase that maybe Bitcoin could even double in price before we are starting a correction because something similar we also had in 2013 after we got this P cycle top flashing we doubled in the price and this is in my opinion what could happen also right now if we are able to push here higher than 62k and then of course also create new all-time highs day by day and in my opinion this last potential big blow of top or big rise up in the price here even up to 100% could be coming in a very fast way so Bitcoin last time when it pumped from 7k to 20k it took just a couple of days and that's why in my opinion something similar could also happen right now before we maybe get 
some kind of bigger correction down towards the 20 weekly moving average which right now is at around 40k so if we would pump towards 100 or 120 thousand dollars and then have a massive correction down to 40k that of course will shake out a lot of weak hands and that's why in my opinion it's only worth to think about to take some profits if we are reaching 100k but right now at 60k in my opinion it's not worth to take the risk to sell at 60k to hopefully then rebuy back in at 40k because bitcoin usually never tops out in these consolidation phases usually we always see one big parabolic move to the upside that can take several days before then we start a massive uh, correction to then accumulate again more bitcoin and then start again with these parabolic moves to the upside and now let's go over into the daily time frame because here I just want to show you that in the daily time frame we are still in an uptrend. We are still in this ascending triangle and we should expect your breakout to the upside pretty soon. There is still the chance that maybe we could come once more to test this 55 to 58k area once more before we have this breakout to the upside. But as long as we are not seeing a huge breakout to the upside or to the downside here, we shouldn't be in a trade. And in my opinion, it's better just to wait for the next big breakout and then of course also for the next consolidation phase so if here we're gonna have a breakout to the upside we should then have a look into the lower time frames if we are confirming 62k as a new support then I think we are off to the races and we will see here very big moves towards 80k potentially even go higher towards 100k in the next coming days and weeks only if we would lose here the EMA ribbons in the daily and also the main support here of around $55,700. This would be make more bearish because in that case my target would be to reach at least a 20 weekly moving average. And that moving average we're going to have to update tomorrow as soon as we're starting a new week. But now it's at around 40k. And since we are now in the daily time frame, I just want to bring out here the P cycle top indicator because as you can see, it's about to flash. So tomorrow it will be flashing because I'm not expecting that the price is going to make big moves uh, today or tomorrow. So if today we are not having a big crash, then by tomorrow this sell indicator will flash. And of course in the past it always signaled a cycle top or at least we were close to a cycle top. And that could be true, but in my opinion, this will not signal the cycle top for this bull run. And in my opinion, we will go to way higher levels before we even have a bigger sell off or correction and then gear up for another big parabolic move to the upside. Because as I told you, my friends, in my opinion, during this bull run, we're going to have two big cycle tops before a major correction, because so far we never had a bigger correction and we never came down to test a 20 weekly moving average. And this will happen one day. That's why I think we need this big blow off top before maybe we are coming down to test the 20 weekly moving average and getting a local top. And I don't think that this consolidation phase here is this local top. Usually Bitcoin always have one big last pump towards completely insane levels before maybe it's going to crash. So as soon this indicator is flashing, my friends, I think something will happen. It is very likely that afterwards we're going to start this parabolic move to the upside towards our local top but that this is the local top here at around 62k my opinion it's not very likely but of course possible so based on this indicator we could be in this cycle top at least for now or very close to it but thankfully we also have other charts and other indicators that are suggesting something else and the first thing that I want to show you is this indicator right here. This is the logarithmic growth curves. And usually Bitcoin always tops out at the top of these logarithmic growth curves. And the top currently is right here at around $104,000. So based on the logarithmic growth curves, we could be going even up here towards 104K before we could get here a local top and then start a massive sell off. Because in the past this always signaled the cycle top and afterwards we always came down for a massive correction. But keep in mind that these logarithmic growth curves also go higher and higher day by day. So if we are reaching those levels here towards the end of this month, the top would be already here at around 110 k 
So you see the more time passes the higher these curves are going and that also means that the price will go higher and higher if we are reaching those levels up here. So based on this indicator we are also still far away from a cycle top or a local top and we still would have a lot of room left to the upside here to reach this 100k target potentially even now in April or May. So now we have already one indicator which is showing something else than the P-cycle top indicator and the other indicator is of course the stochastic RSI here in the weekly time frame because as you can see we are in complete oversold condition and usually when this happens Bitcoin is always at the bottom and is gearing up for a big move to the upside especially the last ones that happened after the last halving were extremely important and bullish for the Bitcoin price because afterwards we always have seen a big parabolic move to the upside. So the stochastic RSI in the weekly is also looking extremely bullish and it's not suggesting that we are seeing here a bigger sell-off and of course here you also can see the nine weekly moving average as a very strong support and if we are not dropping below this nine weekly moving average so below 55k we are still on track with our bull run and we shouldn't expect a massive uh, correction maybe down to the 20 weekly moving average at around 40k incoming. So this is also something very important that we need to keep an eye on so now we have two indicators that are suggesting that this is not the cycle top for now and even here the Bollinger Bands as you can see are showing that the top right now is at around 70k. So also this chart is suggesting that we could see continuation here to the upside. And the third chart is here the stock to flow model price. This chart I have showed you many times already and I told you my friends that most likely if here we are reaching this 100k we could be a bit too early to reach this and we could still fall down here towards the blue line which currently is at around 40 to 50k and that's why in my opinion it's not worth yet to take profits here at 60k just to hope that you can rebuy back in at around 40k the risk in my opinion is just too high because at the end we anyway are going way above 100k and we are supposed to reach 100k for bitcoin towards the end of the year and that's why if right now we're gonna see a big blow off top towards 100k this could be then maybe a local top and afterwards we start a correction down towards 40k and then gear up for another big parabolic move towards 100k and way higher prices. So based on the stock to flow model price we are also still on track with our bull run and we shouldn't expect the price to drop again below this stock to flow model price level at least this blue line here which currently is at around 40k which is also coinciding with the 20 weekly moving average and that's why in my opinion we will most likely not see Bitcoin below 40k during this bull run until we're gonna reach our real parabolic cycle top way above 100k so this potential local top that we could get here maybe in a couple of weeks could lead afterwards into a massive sell-off down towards this blue line but at the end we will go way above 100k my friends and that's why on the way towards those targets make sure that you're buying every dip and only take a little bit of profits out even if we are seeing right now a local top just take a little bit of profits out because you never know what can happen because Bitcoin at the end is anyway going towards way higher prices and you should only consider to take a little bit of profits out if we get the blow of top if you have completely no cash on the sideline to buy the dip if a dip is coming because for now we are looking extremely bullish and extremely stable here at around 60k so it is even possible that we are not going ever again below 60k since right now this is such a huge resistance and at the end this could be acting then as a very strong support so only take a little bit of profits out even though it could be looking like a blow off top if we are reaching now very fast 100k or maybe even higher because at the end especially towards the end of this year in my opinion we will see prices way above 100k. So only take some cash out of Bitcoin if you have no cash on the sideline to buy any kind of dip because sooner or later there will be a huge correction and then of course you also want a little bit of cash to buy that dip as well 
and like that accumulate more Bitcoin. So also here on the stock to flow model price, you can see that we are still far away from a cycle top. We could maybe get here very soon a local top, but at the end we are anyway going towards way higher levels. And this is another chart that shows us that we are still far away from any kind of tops. And the last chart that I want to show you is this chart from Willy Wu. Here you can see that every time that the Bitcoin price touched this green top line, this signaled always a market top and afterwards we started a bigger sell-off even here in 2013 this was very accurate and this green top line comes from the average capitalization multiplied by 35 this was usually in the past always the market top once the price touched this line and this line right now is exactly here at around one hundred and thirty thousand dollars and this would very much coincide with the same thing that happened with 2013 after the p-cycle indicator flashed we had then a double in the price and this is also perfectly coinciding with the actual price that we have right now for Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin would double, we would exactly meet this price target that you can see here in the chart, which is at around $128,000. So those are now four indicators or charts that suggests that here at 60k we will not get a local top but we most likely are entering right now in these big parabolic moves that Bitcoin always has towards the end of a big rally before it has a bigger correction and then start everything all over again. So I still say my friends that taking profits here at 60k is still a bit too risky and too early. Wait until at least we have several indicators and charts that are suggesting that this could be a local top for now. So if all indicators and charts are screaming for a correction or for a local top, then yes, in my opinion, we can start to take some profits or look for good short opportunities. But until then, only because of one indicator, in my opinion, it's not worth to take the risk and taking profits. And that's why I will not take profits just because of this P cycle indicator. I was thinking about maybe to do so, but since it's right now the only indicator that is flashing to sell and we are not really far away from important supports like the 200 daily moving average or the 20 weekly moving average. In my opinion, this is not yet the top and we will see here big parabolic moves incoming here in the next coming weeks. So the most important thing is here that we are not dropping below the $55,800. So if we're starting to drop below here, this main support where also the nine weekly moving average is lining up and we never dipped below that moving average during this bull run then we will see these big fireworks to the upside but if we're gonna lose those important supports then be prepared that this was for now the local top and we will gear up for a massive correction down towards the 20 weekly moving average maybe even down towards the 200 daily moving average which right now is here at around thirty two thousand dollars so if it happens so if the worst case is coming in then just buy more bitcoin accumulate more bitcoin for the long term with fresh fiat and just huddle through that possible correction or maybe take a short position down to those levels because bitcoin anyway is going to way higher levels and i would only start to take a little bit of profits out if here we're gonna have a big blow off top and reach those targets that all the other indicators and charts are suggesting so let me know in the comment section my friends what do you think are we going to see here a bigger sell-off right now and this was the top here at 62k or are we getting here big fireworks to the upside in the next coming days and weeks let me know in the comment section what do you think after that you have checked all the charts and indicators that i showed you in this video and now we can also have a look into the Ethereum price because currently the Bitcoin dominance is still falling and Ethereum is still fighting here with this resistance that we have at around $2,200. It looks very bullish here, even though also here in the lower time frames, like here the four hour, we are seeing here a little pullback, but it looks like more like a retest of this $2,100 support. And also here we should be gearing up very, very soon for a big move to the upside and finally meet our targets here at around two thousand five hundred dollars so the lower time frames are in an uptrend and also here the daily is looking extremely bullish we are above the 20 and 
nine daily moving average so also here on ethereum we should expect continuations to the upside and i'm very very bullish for a lot of altcoins my friends because the bitcoin dominance is now here at 56 percent and we are approaching this 54 percent which is a potential support here so here we could maybe see a bounce and then a retest of 59 or 60 percent in dominance but overall i think that the altcoin season has started and therefore even though we could see here a bounce to the upside towards 60 percent and retest it we will most likely continue to fall and a lot of money will float into some altcoins especially like ethereum and some other top altcoins or those altcoins from the DeFi space so in my opinion we are entering in this big altcoin season and we will see some of them maybe even outperform bitcoin so if here we are getting a breather to the upside in bitcoin dominance here at 60 percent and we are getting again rejected here then start to think about to diversify into some also then multiply your bitcoin with those gains that you're doing here and the easiest way to trade altcoins is still over on binance if you need a binance account open up an account with my link down below here you will get some percentage of the fees and of course you support the channel and here on binance you can also trade with futures you can also stake your cryptos all cryptos you have you can put it here and you will get paid day by day with interest so even for bitcoin you can stake some of them here so you can just put it here into your binance savings account and you will get paid day by day with interest and you can of course also withdraw it from your savings account at any time so the cryptos that you're putting here on binance in this savings program are not blocked or anything like that so you can get them back at any time so check this feature out here on binance you can like this also earn some passive money just by holding some of your cryptos here on this exchange otherwise if you want to trade with leverage then of course try out bybit and femex those are the recommended exchanges that i'm also using so if you want to open up an account also over there make sure to use my invitation links because like that you also will get some extra bonus and of course you also support the channel so since we could be in a massive altcoin season here for the next coming months think about also to diversify into some altcoins if you don't have already some especially in ethereum i'm still very very bullish for ethereum and i think we're gonna see their big fireworks as well and as long as we are still in this consolidation phase of course you can make also some passive money by just putting it here on binance and wait until it's good to buy or sell because until then you get some passive money here thanks to this savings program that you can find here on binance so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you again very much for watching and your support make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel and a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat here on discord if you want to join our discord trading chat make sure to click here on this invitation link and then go here to read first you just have to click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you are a human and not a bot like this you have free access to the trading chat and this is also the place where you can get access to my indicator the live stream which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin if you want also access to this indicator then you have to send me a private message here because a small donation is needed in order to get access to it otherwise you can just get here a youtube membership like this you also have free access to the discord trading chat indicator so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye